Hi again, so we have reached the exercise on the multiplication table. So we need to display uh, the product table for n varying from 1 to 10. So it's, it's fixed, so I need the multiplication table uh, from 1 to 10. So the user shouldn't enter anything, we just need to print. So let's, I'll, uh, I've copied this and place it into, into the Microsoft whiteboard. And let's see how we will uh, do that. So uh, uh, at first, so the, the the this line is just a unique implementation. I don't know why the line is very thick. So I don't know why. So maybe we reduce. Uh, okay. And uh, we have, uh, for example, this one is fixed. And what what changes here? The, the the real values are here. So this is where we need to work. So first I will rewrite this, and then we will add those other stuff. So we have here 10 rows and if you have followed me in uh, the exercise of the start pattern so uh, you can find the link of uh, the start pattern exercise on the top right of uh, uh, this video so you can click on the information uh, icon to, uh, to, to to find the link of the video. So we, we have an outer loop, it's the number of rows so here we have 10 rows and in each row we have a number of uh, value so which are also uh, uh, so here we have 11 rows so because we are starting from 0 till 10 so we have 11 rows so 11 rows and we have 11 columns because also we are moving from 0 to uh, 10 so it's 11 uh, rows by 11 columns so we have the outer loop so let's say i so i will loop from 0 to 10 and j also should loop from uh, from a number so however the numbers here uh, differs and it's related to the number of rows so for example here we have row 0 1 2 3 here we have the row 4 so we have 0 4 8 12 so how can i get these uh, numbers so i have a loop also so the loop on j will loop from 0 also to 10 and we will multiply 4 by 0 we place 0 4 by 1 we'll place 4 and so on so again i will start just from for, for uh, to display this one and then i will move and add the other stuff so let's start let's erase all these and start our implementation so we need uh, to int i and j for the numbers of rows and number of columns so and let's start so i will start from zero i will be less than equal than 10 i plus plus those are the rows and then we have uh, four j equal also to zero j less than equal to 10 and j plus plus so the number of elements is fixed and in each row we will display the multiplication so print f percentage d Space, let's say and I will print I multiple J semicolon and after I finish the row so this is the row I would print a backslash up so let's see for now what's the output so okay we have somehow the multiplication table however the multiplication table here there is look there's spaces here so there's more spaces it's very clean so what they have done here so how can we for example here we have hundred we have three numbers and the nine is aligned over the the last before zero and the zeros are aligned so if we if we can check so there's here a, a space so we can print each number on four a digit so in order to be sure that all the elements are get aligned on one line so let's see the output uh, now it's more neat it's very beautiful to see that um, this multiplication table. Now what we need is that to uh, uh, add some uh, stuff. So we have for here uh, two uh, rows. So those we will add it manually. So we'll write in a while. So however, in each row here, we can now add those stuff. So in those stuff, I have I, which is a fixed. And I have a, a number which is i, so I have 0i, 1i, 0, 1, 2, 3, 10 is the number of row which is equal to i. So I, I, I can print it here, so print f, I would print uh, d number, so let's place it over 3, and I would, I would say i, and d, d would be equal to i. So let us run this program and see the difference. So we have the zeros and i so we are approaching the display of this one huh? 
so I don't know if we can go back and erase all the stuff yes in order to see the output so now what we have done is that we have covered the uh, this part and we need to add the first uh, two uh, uh, rows so uh, X and Y is just once the I is once and this I can use a loop also so I can print the numbers from 0 or 10 it's the same as course and as for the uh, dashes also I will be using a loop so let's start so I can use either I or J because here I'm, I'm, I'm starting from from 0 so I'm reinitializing the variable so we'll print a first X multiple Y and we will place I now let's see the output if it's if it's nice or not so we need to print also the backslash n and stuff so let's make the the the, the numbers so I will loop uh, from I equal to 0 to 10 and I will print F uh, the numbers so I will print over for D the number I and at the end of course a print F to go to the line so this is just the first time. Let's see if it's if it if it's good. So it's just an output, you know. So there is nothing. So it's okay. It's very nice. So it it, it, it comes all on top of the numbers and it's very uh, nice to see. And then we have the dashes. So here we will have uh, dashes. So let's again loop ten times and print, for example, four dashes each time. So we could need more so we'll see so we need to try so the print f here is outside the for loop the backslash n i think we need more so yes we need more let's say two more it will be too much so it's too much one more so th those for the 10 and we need the ones at the uh, for the count of this one so How nice! Let let me add one this. So, so the, the, those parts are, are not very important. This is not the uh, the purpose of the program. The purpose is here is to write the multiplication table, and we have uh, uh, wrote a program that prints the multiplication table of uh, of ten, and it's very nice to see. See, we have played with the printf with the with the digits before the 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 identifier, and uh, this was for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message, and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.